Hey guys, this is Subhash Ismishra, your test coach. Today we will learn how to handle alerts in Selenium. When you test or automate any web application, definitely you would have come across pop-ups. For example, when you are filling a form and missed few details and then press the submit button, then an alert pops up and shows contact number is required if you didn't enter the contact number. One more example, if you didn't check the term and conditions checkbox, right? In that time, you submitted the form, then you will get an alert as please check the term and condition checkbox before proceeding further. So, all these pop-ups and alerts you will get when you miss few details and then trying to submit a form. So, we call them as pop-ups or alerts. So, when you are doing manually all these things, right? These things look very easy and you can do it very easily because it is clearly visible in your screen. But when you are doing it through automation, there is a challenge, right? So, how you will do it through your automation? So, let us learn how to do that. First, we will understand what is an alert. So, let me show you what is it. So, if you go to seleniumag.com and click on this demo website. So, here you will see alert and models. So, just click on that. Then you can see JavaScript alerts. So, if you will click here, right, you can see different kinds of alert. So, if you will click here, right, you can see one alert is coming, right. And this says, I am an alert box. And you just simply need to create an OK. Then that alert will go. Similarly, if you will click on this alert, either you have to cancel or you have to ok. So, this is also one alert ok. And similarly, here also you can see one more alert box right or prompt box. So, you need to enter something here, then you can click on ok or cancel. So, alert is a small message or notification box that notifies the user about some information or ask for permission to perform a certain kind of operation. It may be used for warning purpose as well. Okay. So, there are two types of alert. One is web based alert and another one is window based alert. So, handling windows based pop ups is beyond web drivers capability. So, we need to use some third party utilities to handle window pop ups. So, today we will mainly look into how we can handle web based alerts right so we have three different kind, kinds of web based alerts you can call it as javascript alerts also so javascript provides mainly three types of alerts one is simple alert then we have confirmation alert then we have prompt alert so what is simple alert simple alerts are just informational alerts and we have to click on ok button so here you will see this is a simple alert just click here here you can see one alert ok and we need to just click here we will read what is the message and we will click here. So, you just, just need to click on the ok button after reading the message displayed on the alert box That's, that is what is simple alert. Then we have confirmation alert. Confirmation alerts get some confirmation from the user in the form of accepting or dismissing the message box. So, here we see one confirmation alert if you will click here either you need to cancel or you need to click on ok and here you can read the message ok. So, let me click ok or if you want to click cancel also you can do that right. Then we have prompt alert. In prompt alerts some input requirement is there from the user in the form of text which needs to enter in the alert box. So, if I click in this prompt box. So, here you can see I need to enter something. So, it is telling please enter your name. I need to enter my name, then I can click OK or if I want to click cancel, click cancel. Okay. So, in prompt alert box, user can enter required details and press the OK button or cancel the alert box without entering any details. Now, let us understand how to handle alerts or pop ups using Selenium Web Driver. In our previous video, we have seen right how to handle Windows 
like how to handle single window how to handle multiple windows so there we have learned about parent window and child window so when we land in a page we call that as a main window or parent window and when we click or perform any action then the child window opens then we shift our driver control from parent window to child window then only we can do some actions on child window so similar concept is also applied here we know whenever we are executing any of the automation scripts using selenium web driver the web driver always has the focus on the main browser window and will run all the commands on the main browser window but whenever an alert or pop up appears it opens up a new window so for handling the alerts using selenium web driver the focus need to be shifted to the child window opened by the alerts to switch the control from the parent window to the alert window the selenium web driver provides a method which is known as switch to then we can do alert in window we were doing switch to method dot window method here we will do switch to method dot alert method we will see how we can do it while writing the code right so once we switch the control from the main browser window to alert window we can use the methods provided by alert interface to perform various required actions for example accepting the alert dismissing the alert getting the text from the alert window writing some text on the alert window and so on right so we'll see what and all methods we will use right so to handle javascript alerts selenium web driver provides the package org dot open dot selenium dot alert and exposes few methods like dismiss accept get text send keys so dismiss method is used when the cancel button is clicked in the alert box accept method is used to click on the ok button of the alert then we have get text get text method is used to capture the alert message then we have send keys send keys method is used to send data to the alert box so let's write the code and understand in more detail so for now i'll just go to our eclipse and we'll create a new class and we'll name it as handle alerts okay so let me copy few details from our previous class so that's fine I'll copy this much so here what we are doing first we are setting the property of our driver chrome driver and this is the path of the chrome driver okay and this is the driver chrome driver then we are creating an object of the web driver then we are just maximizing the window then we are navigating to this URL so let me take this URL and let me paste it here okay then what we will do we will click on this right so i need to identify the xpath for this so let me inspect and here i can see on click right so if i'll copy then let me do it again so here I can see button, so I will write button at the rate on click. So if you don't know how to write xpath, you can always refer to our previous videos. Okay. So here what we will do, this is the click me for alert box, right. So what we will do here, we will write web element then we will write alert box is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath and here we will write the xpath ok we need to put it into single code fine then what we can do we need to import this will import and then we'll write alert box dot click okay 
fine then what we will do so here what we did we just identified this and we just clicked here now we need to navigate to this alert we need to switch to this alert and we need to press on ok button so to do that what we will do we will use the alert interface here right so we will write alert ok then I will write for example simple alert is equal to driver dot switch to dot alert ok then what we will do we will just import this alert interface then what we will do simple alert dot we will click accept ok so let me add some thread dot slip thread dot slip so you will able to see this ok let me add throws declaration ok I will add this also here so you will see it fine so what we did here if you will see this alert so let us see what is this alert so alert is an interface and here you can see the different methods dismiss accept get text and send keys so now we are using this accept method you can also use if you want to dismiss you can use simple alert dot dismiss method so in this line what we did here so here we have created a reference variable simple alert okay for uh, alert and then we are switching the control to the alert and then we are accepting that alert right so this is one example of simple alert first we will write code for all these three then we will execute and we will see how it is working right now we will see what is the confirmation alert right so for confirmation alert what we need to do we need to write the expert for this right so let me just copy paste this in fact i can copy paste almost everything and here i'll put it here and here what we'll write we'll write confirm box okay and we will click here so for confirm box we need to find the x path right so let's get the x path so here we see my confirm okay we got the xpath let me copy and paste it here i just need to put the single quote here okay then we are putting the confirmation box dot click right so we are clicking here once we click here now we need to switch to this alert and we need to click ok or cancel whatever we want right so again we need to create one more reference variable so here i can say it is confirm alert okay so alert confirm alert equal to driver dot switch to alert then here what we will do confirm alert dot accept one more thing you can do here if you want to know what is the text here right so what you can do you can do confirm alert dot get text okay and you can put it into a string string confirm text confirm alert text okay and we will do a sys out of that so you can see it in the console okay if you want to do dismiss also you can do confirmation a lot dot dismiss okay you can do this also but we need to do anyone so for now i'm just commenting this okay similarly we will write for prompt alert right so let me copy this and let me paste it here and i'll write prompt box okay and let me 
and here it will be prompt box dot click okay now let me find the x path for this so this is our prompt box so inspect here i see okay and let me paste it here okay and we'll copy the x path for the prompt alert okay so we got prompt box dot click it means we are clicking here now we need to enter some text and then we can click on ok right so first we need to create one more reference variable so here we'll write prompt alert okay and alert prompt alert equal to driver dot switch to alert here if you want to again get the text that also you can do so let us do that prompt alert text is equal to here you need to write prompt alert dot get text okay and finally if you want to print it you can print it like this so it is same whatever we did here but what we want we want to enter some text here all right so we'll write prompt alert dot sorry prompt alert we'll write prompt alert dot send keys method right so send keys method will take one string as the argument so that string is nothing but the name for example i'll enter subhashish mishra okay i'm entering my name fine then what you can do you can write prompt alert dot accept or prompt alert dot dismiss okay so that's all you need to do so let's execute and see how it is working we'll able to understand we wrote code for simple alert this is for simple alert this is for confirmation alert this is for prompt alert right so let me execute this and let's see so browser is launched and maximized selenium easy.com is opening so now it should click on the yes it clicked and we can see the alert okay now it should click on the confirmation alert it clicked and it should click okay yeah now it should enter the text yeah here you can see right it entered the text here you can see it pressed okay okay one thing we didn't do is we didn't close the browser that's why we can see all these things otherwise it will be too quick so let me manually close this and finally after all these things right you can just write driver dot close so it will close your browser okay so here in the console you can see confirm alert text press a button okay we didn't give a space here that's why and prompt alert text is please enter your name so it is reading the name it is reading the it is getting the text properly right so if you'll see here it is telling please enter your name and if you we'll click here it is telling press a button that is what we are seeing here right press a button and please enter your name so this is how you can handle all alerts in selenium i hope this video is helpful thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel